Hey everybody, Ben here with Diesel Power Products, and today we are talking about the Apex Chassis T-Style Steering for the 3rd Gen and early 4th Gen Ram pickups. Let's talk about applications first and foremost. This follows the same rule as the T-Style steering goes, commonly known as the Mopar 09 steering as far as fitment. So if you have an 03 to 08 Ram 25 or 3500, that came factored with the Y style steering, this will work as long as you use the updated style pitman arm. If you have the 09 to 2012 or 13, this will fit with the factory pitman arm. Uh, however, there are some uh, fitment issues once we get towards that 12 and 13 mark. So let's talk about that real quick. If you have a 2013 Ram 2500, you are covered. So this will go 03 to 2013 Ram 2500. For the 3500s, it'll cover 03 to 2012. As far as similarities go between this and the T-Style steering, that's where it ends. The fact they're both T-Style, that's it. Everything else, Apex chassis went back to the drawing board and wanted to make the biggest, beefiest, most robust steering I have ever laid my eyes on. So let's talk about some of these features real quick. First and foremost, maintenance. You're gonna notice that these are greasable. Your factory 09 steering is not. So if you have a ball joint or one of the rod ends go out, you have basically have to replace the entire steering. Now these rod ends, they went back to the drawing board and they decided to make them out of really high quality material. The housings are a 1045 solid steel forged housing, which is unheard of in the industry. The ball studs are also a 4140 hot forged chromoly stud, which again, unheard of. On top of that, the kit does come with new castle nuts and cotter pins to make sure nothing falls off when you're off-roading your ram. Next, let's talk about these rods. These are fully adjustable rods here and they are not thin by any means. They also coated these rods with their patented e-coat finish, which means they're gonna look really good and not rust for many, many years to come. They even coated the threads to make sure that you're hopefully, I mean, you're still gonna wanna use NSEs, but you're hopefully not gonna have any binding issues in the future. As far as size goes, the drag link here is gonna be inch and a half diameter, the tie rod a one and three quarter inch, and these are thick wall tubing. They did not skimp on any material here because I wanna make sure that this is the last steering kit you ever buy. One of the great things about this kit is that all of these joints are serviceable, which means they are greasable. And here's the thing, see those Zerk fittings there? They're threaded. These caps are also threaded. I know that may not seem like a big deal to some of you, but if you've ever tried to kind of force a Zerk into the top of one of these where it's not threaded, you basically feel like you're gonna break it off at any given moment. And if you're like me, you have broken it off and you're stuck and that sucks. So Apex chassis got you covered there. They actually thread the top of, tops of these so that you can put the Zerks in, no problem. Let's talk about assembly of the steering. There's basically no way to mess it up. If you follow that the branding is supposed to be towards the front of the truck, you can't mess it up. Obviously this picture is representative of how it's supposed to be. We've got the driver's side over here, passenger side over here. But as long as the branding is facing towards the front of the truck and it's not upside down, that's it, you're good to go. And that's because a lot of these are reverse thread. So if you're trying to screw in a normal thread into reverse thread, it's just not gonna work. You may be sitting there thinking to yourself, why is this screwing in? It's because it's in the wrong spot. So. Take a minute, if you want, look at this picture. This is assembled again the way it's supposed to be. As long as the branding is right side up and facing the front, you're good to go. As far as adjustability goes, you can see they have these giant locking nuts on here, but to make sure they don't go anywhere, they have these ninja washers. And yes, they do look like ninja stars, and I'm pretty sure that's why they named them ninja washers. But once you do have them set to where they need to go, you put those on, clamp them down, and that'll make sure nothing ends up loosening up on you, and you'll be safe with that adjustment for many, many years to come. Not to mention this comes with very nice rubber boots to keep all that dirt and debris out of these fantastic rod ends here, which are again, serviceable. So let's talk about the important notes on this as far as fitment goes. Again, in the beginning of the video, we talked about this is gonna follow the same rules as the Mopar 09 T-style steering as far as fitment, but as far as other aftermarket parts goes, I know a lot of people have upgraded their factory track bars and gone to a different brand. Uh, one thing to note here is at this time, this does not work with the BDS adjustable track bar. Again, at this time, it does not work with the BDS adjustable track bar. It may in the future, 
but at the time of this video, it does not work with that. If it does, check the important notes and we'll put that in there for you. Next, the Carly or Thurin adjustable track bars. Two very popular track bars in the aftermarket. This does work with those track bars. Again, Carly and Thurin, thumbs up. They will work with those track bars. Now let's talk about steering stabilizers. You may notice on the 09 steering, there's no clamp on here right now. If you're upgrading from the Y style steering to the T style, you're used to having a stud go through this. Well, this uses a clamp instead. On the website, you'll notice three options. You can select none. That means you're gonna deal with it on your own. You're not running a steering stabilizer. Totally fine, it's up to you. There's a stock clamp, which means it's gonna be a clamshell clamp that'll go on the tie rod here. And that way you'll be able to utilize a steering stabilizer in the stock location. So you can use a stock stabilizer or any other aftermarket option that fits in the stock location. The third option on there is for a Fox steering stabilizer clamp to work with the Fox ATS steering stabilizer. It's gonna be a steering stabilizer that has the pass pass through shaft going through there. Very popular, very high end steering stabilizer, but they do require a special clamp. So if you are running that or you do plan to run it, make sure you select that option. Apex chassis has you covered as far as warranty as well. It's a very hefty warranty, which means if you break it, call them. If you think it didn't work as well as it should, call them. If you want it really hard, you wear it out, call them. They stand behind their product 100%. They're built right here in the USA. And if you have any issues, you heard it before, call them. The only caveat to that is they do want to make sure that you register this product within 90 days of purchasing it from an authorized dealer, which we are. A couple other reasons why we here at Diesel Power Products absolutely love this steering. One, it comes very well packaged. That's one of the things that goes a long way here because we do ship a lot of products out. Items that are packaged well, we like selling. Two, it comes with instructions. Instructions, folks, and they're printed on paper. That's important. So if you're not sure how to install it, like I said before, as long as the logos are facing forward, you have instructions to back you up with torque specs in there as well. Three, the price. You look at this thing, you look at the stock steering and you think this thing has to cost way more than it actually does. But actually this comes in at a very reasonable price point for a steering that is absolutely as burly as this thing is. If you have any questions on this as far as fitment goes, do not hesitate to reach out. We've got many ways to get a hold of us uh, through the social medias, email, whatever works best for you, or kick it old school, pick up the phone and give our sales technicians a call. They are ready to take your call and answer any questions you have, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific time, Monday through Friday. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.